Hello everyone, this is Tilla at Perfect Pronunciation Academy. Today I'm going to do a bit of a Christmas wish list or Christmas um, phrases. No matter where you live, I think we're getting towards the time of the year. Um, I'm hopefully recording and releasing this on 22nd December. Um, and in Australia, it's going to be a hot, hot, hot summer Christmas, which is what we always have. Um, depending on which part of the world you're at, I uh, wish you a wonderful, lovely Christmas or um, all the best for the new year. Now, we celebrate different uh, Christmas very differently in many parts of the world and I'd love to know actually how do you celebrate your Christmas. Um, I don't personally celebrate Christmas, I just like watching the festivities and you know just eating the foods and stuff and just chilling actually but um, if you do something fancy and lovely just let me know just just write in the little comment box and I just love to um, yeah hear about it now I've, I've chosen a couple of phrases that people might struggle with when um, wishing and speaking during the Christmas lingo and here are a couple of them the first one is Merry Christmas. Now everyone has said this before, obviously you've heard this great greeting before, it's probably the most famous uh, Christmas greeting, but sometimes the Mary, M-E-R-R-Y, could be mispronounced, so you just want to pronounce it that Mary, the er sound is clear, er sound, so your tongue doesn't have to touch the top, but Merry Christmas, not Merry Christmas, alright? Um, and so Merry Christmas and you have to link the words together so that it actually sounds like it flows and I hope that was good the word Christmas the T is silent I know there's a T in the middle yeah, um, so it's Merry Christmas all right okay um, and Christmas Eve sometimes if you celebrate that E V E is called Eve so Christmas Eve whatever you do that's the way you pronounce the word Eve and um, now this word Chris Kringle this was a new word to me when I actually moved to Australia to be honest I wasn't too sure what this word actually meant until my colleagues had to um, explain it to me so I think it's just new bar gifts and it's from Santa Santa Claus and you just share it among your colleagues and people draw numbers and you get a Chris Kringle so anyway the way you spell a Chris Kringle is K-R-I-S Kringle, K R I N G L E. So, how do you pronounce it? The K R is Kr. So, Chris, as in Christopher, Chris, Kringle, as in Pringle. So, that's it, Chris Kringle. It's actually, actually an activity that's played in Australia at workplaces mostly. So, if you have no idea what this word is, hit me up and I'll explain it a little bit more. There's another phrase I'm going to do the Christmas wish list there's three words in there christmas wish list but it's pretty big so don't link up all the words uh say them separately christmas wish list so you don't actually um whiz through them that's a that three words are a bit of a nightmare because there's so many different sounds in there and the sh and stuff it's pretty hard another word is are you in the christmas spirit the so spirit has got an S sound in there. I think it's quite easy to go Christmas spirit or something because of the S and the SP. So just be very cautious of it. This sounds like I'm in the Christmas spirit. Okay, and I think that was, that's all for today. So if you enjoyed this video, or if you'd like to share what are your Christmas plans, please, um, type away let me know share it with me and i'd love to hear about it i'll see you in the next video goodbye